Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Brenna. I own Brenna Amico where we spread mental health awareness and positivity through tons and tons of different products. As you can see from the title of this video this is a full crocheting vlog. These next couple weeks I'm going to be crocheting my little booty off so then I can hopefully have a launch the week that this video comes out. So far I have been working on a couple things. I just finished this last night. It's gonna be like a little mini bag and I think I'm gonna do double straps for this one and it has this cute little bow detail on the front and then I'm working on purple hearts I also have pink hearts and then something new that I'm really 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 thinking about launching as well crocheted lavender or crocheted flowers in general this is my first time doing lavender or even like a flower in general and they turned out so good you guys plus if you're like me that kills plants um these will be absolutely wonderful and I just think they look so good so I plan on coming out with a couple of flowers so obviously we'll have lavender I'm thinking about rose and maybe tulip or something but yeah I'm really excited about these and those are probably be individually so you can mix and match so if you want like one rose one lavender and one tulip you can totally do that you don't have to get three a bundle of like three lavenders so but for right now i'm just working on creating all of the squares for all of the hearts the purple and the pink and then eventually we'll get to stitching them together to create the bags i just have so many ideas for these bags that i wish they were so much faster to make like i know i want to make a strawberry one i think that would be absolutely adorable and then i want to make like a black and white checkered moment and then i'm thinking about doing either like the red the pink or the purple uh like a big bag checkered i did do a small one here's the small one if you missed my latest video but this is just like a heart checkered one and it's a small one but i thought about doing this on a big bag too because i think it'd look really good so yeah today is just obviously a full crocheting day i have the same thing over and over again So I have been working on the purple ones for about four hours, give or take. I did take time for like lunch and stuff. I have 27 of the purple squares done so far and I have nine more to do still. And I haven't even started working on the pink ones besides what I already had done from a bit ago, like a couple days ago. So I'm hoping today that I can get all the hearts into squares, pink and purple and then tomorrow we can potentially start putting together the panels and the bags and then I'm gonna do all of the lining stuff a little bit later I just want to make sure I get like the actual like bag parts done on stuff and then we'll do the straps later so yeah that's just what I've been working on and it kind of seems crazy that this has taken I mean I had like maybe six of them done that this has taken four hours but it's time consuming, but they look so cute in the end. So I'm really excited. 
about this. So I'm just gonna keep on working on the purple ones and then once I'm done with those, move on to pink and then we can start putting them together. Should I say good afternoon? It's about one o'clock. Last night I ended up finishing all of the purple hearts and I ended up running out of the cream color that I used. This is what I had left of my big roll. So this morning I had to go and get some more so that I could get started on the pink hearts. And that's just kind of what I've been working on a little bit here and there this morning between like calls and emails and all that so i only have this many hearts left i want to say it's about like 10 maybe 12 which is not bad whatsoever i'm doing so good on time and then we're gonna start putting together the bags now that i'm thinking about it when i got more yarn i should have gotten more fabric specifically like the pink fabric that i have because i don't know if i even have enough for a bag i guess we'll see i also picked up some black and some white because i want to try doing the checkered look after we finish these bags probably need to get black fabric too for that bag because i don't want to put white in it just because white gets dirty kind of easily especially inside of a bag so again like i'm not worried about getting fabric because like we're just going to construct a bunch of bags and then we'll do all the lining stuff for it so i'm really excited about that and i'm just going to go ahead and and keep working on these hearts you guys okay you guys are gonna be so mad at me but I finished the pink hearts and after broom ball and coaching hockey last night I just got in the groove and got to work and I put together the two bags and I didn't feel like filming because I just looked nasty obviously I took a shower afterwards but you know wasn't really feeling myself so I didn't film but 
We finished these two. We'll do the lining and the straps later. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And I have a dilemma. Um, so I have enough of the purple hearts to do a second bag, but for the pink ones, I don't have enough to do a second bag. Could I make more squares? Yes, of course I could. But you know what, like there's so many bags that I wanna do before this launch. Also, I set a date. It is February 9th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So the week that this video comes out. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a mini bag with this because I'll just have like two extra on the side. So I should be able to make a whole mini bag of pink hearts. And then I'm gonna do another full bag of the purple ones, I think. And then I'm debating whether or not to start the red hearts right away, or if I should do a different bag in between just because it's a lot of hearts and a lot of the same pattern and it gets very repetitive. It's currently 10 a.m. I've been up for like an hour and a half-ish just doing miscellaneous work and it's so gloomy out. I love the winter now that like I found crocheting again but if I was not crocheting I would hate this weather. Sometimes I ask myself like why do I live here and I just keep reminding myself we don't have hurricanes, we don't have all that nasty stuff we don't really get tornadoes, so. But I'm so happy with myself because right now we have six bags done, three that are totally done, and then three that we just need to do all the extra little stuff with. And I'm really excited because I have about a week and a half, two weeks to make bags and just crochet a lot, which I will be taking time off from social media just because I think it's good for me to do that especially when I have to crochet a bunch like there's no really point to be on social media that much but yeah I'm excited I set the date like literally five minutes ago because I'm gonna push myself to get all this done by then so let's get back to work I guess Okay, so I finished another purple bag, as you guys saw, but I put a poll on my Instagram story just asking if I should do like a checkered regular size bag with these, so like it'll be a heart, pink, heart, you know what I mean, checkered. 
um, or if I should make too many bags. So the four that I was telling you guys about, you know, and I had someone DM me and they were like, oh, you should make these pouches. So you just take two and you put them together and then you crochet like some stuff on top and then you have the strings and then you can tie it cinch bag, something like that. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's actually a good idea. I love that. Or if you did, I was also thinking after they sent me that message, taking like two like this and then two on the back and doing like, or maybe even like doing the four and then a zipper on top and doing like a little pouch. But I've never used a zipper. Like I've never tried to so a zipper or anything, so that makes me a little bit nervous about that. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I'm really debating on doing the zipper, but I just don't have any zippers at the moment that I could even like try doing it with and it just sucks like I'm so nervous that it's not going to turn out and my sewing machine is just going to hate me because I'm trying to sew like yarn with it um because she does get mad and I'm just not in the mood lately to deal with a mad sewing machine because like I, I use it for my lining and I would like her to work properly and to be kind to me. So I'm just debating now if I should do that or not. I feel like it would be such a cute pouch. I really wish you guys could answer me in real time. I mean, I could put it on my Instagram story again. I just, I need feedback. Maybe I'll go on TikTok Live and just like ask people. <laughs> That sounds so stupid just to go live to ask questions. But honestly, like, I want your guys' input. I love when you guys give me feedback or suggestions or anything because I'm only one person and I don't think of everything. Incoming Susan. And so I think I'm going to go live and see what people think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I went to Walmart and they only had like these two zippers really. I wasn't going to get black or red or anything like that. Just wanted kind of neutral. So I got a cream one and then a white one. And I'm just going to whip up like a bag kind of like this, like just like a slab, if you will. Um, this is too big for the zippers or else I would try it on this one. But I'm just going to whip up one of these quick kind of like a one like this size like literally half this in half you know what i mean and then we're gonna try and put the zipper in and then we'll do the liner i'm thinking i feel like that would work but yeah that's what i'm gonna try now i'm gonna try and come up with that just to see if it will work at all I'm not really expecting it to but we'll see I guess um, but yeah I'll show you guys like once I hopefully have it made all right well that took a little bit longer than expected but here she is she looks good I got the liner inside and I'm doing it so then the liner can come out so like if you need to wash or anything you can take it out not fully out, obviously, but go like this and then wash it. If you can't tell, I did a different crochet pattern for this. And then there's just this little cute detail on top. So it kind of hides the zipper when you zip it up. I think it turned out so good. And for my first one, I'm very impressed with this. I probably will just keep this for myself, I think. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out and the zipper works perfectly nothing wrong with it and she ain't going nowhere so that is this little toiletry bag and I think I'm gonna make more for this drop especially in this yarn I'm obsessed with it I think it's so cute and funky and different but yeah she turned out good alrighty well 
it's 8 p.m. and I think I'm still just gonna work for a couple more hours just watching like a Netflix show and I'm gonna keep working on the lavender flowers or maybe I should try the tulip ones. I might try the tulip ones and see how that goes. Um, this is obviously not put together yet. It's just the yarn first. I just have to put it together. But I will more than likely see you guys tomorrow morning. Alrighty. So it's been a couple days since I saw you guys last Friday. I just took the time to do other business stuff. And then I crocheted later that night and a couple times throughout this weekend. But I finished the straps for pretty much every single bag that I can think of. I think besides like this one, I haven't done the straps for this one yet. I know I want to do cream and do like short little ones for this. So that shouldn't take too long to do. But we have this pink flower one done and it's gonna have little pink straps to that and then of course we have the big pink one with pink straps too and then each of these purple heart bags will also have heart purple straps so now I just need to do the liners for these I think I'm gonna do that now just to have them prepped and ready to go so I can start like taking pictures and posting on my feed and getting people ready for this launch so let's go ahead and start making the liners for everything i'm super excited about it and i honestly can't wait to post about these I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but this is all that I've gotten done so far in this video. And mind you, it's been like a week since filming and I took up an entire memory card, but here is everything that we have finished so far. We finished a mini pink heart bag, which has two straps. This one is a little bit bigger than my last pink heart bag, but we have her with two straps. And then we also finished two purple heart bags and I'm so excited to bring this variation in. And don't forget that everything does have lining in it. So like the straps and the actual bag. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that we finished. It doesn't seem like that much. You also have to remember that one day we made 
this little mock-up of a zipper pouch. Again, this took a while. So in reality, we ended up finishing five different crocheted items. Don't forget that I have a big launch of crocheted items coming on February 9th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's a Friday. I don't know what that is in other countries besides like United States, Canada, but yeah. So 12 p.m. at Central Standard Time on February 9th. And I'm really excited. And I'm gonna keep working on a bunch of more stuff because I have this entire week and technically like next week because we launch at the end of the week. So I am just gonna be crocheting away. So I promise this isn't everything that's gonna be launching. There's gonna be tons and tons of more stuff. Just stay tuned on my Instagram because that's where I'll show everything. But I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>